So it's going into shock. 73-year-old Catherine gotcher Girolamo says a certified nursing assistant at Avocado Post Acute shoved her face into a pillow and sexually assaulted her early one morning in June of 2019 during a diaper change. I asked him to stop and uh, he kept telling me that he had to clean me and uh, I kept saying, no, you're hurting me. And, uh, he kept hurting me, and uh, I just went limp. And uh, I went, and just went to further shock. So it was horrible. Gotcha Geronimo says she immediately told other caregivers that nursing assistant Matthew Flugager had sodomized her with his fingers. She was confident avocado management would act swiftly against Flugager. I expected them to fire him immediately. Instead, avocado suspended him and then allowed him to return to work three days later, according to an investigative report by the California Department of Public Health. That's one of the most alarming aspects of the case. Lawyer Scott Fikes represents Gotcha Girolamo, who no longer lives at Avocado, but is suing the facility. He said seeing the caregiver again horrified Gotcha Girolamo. She'd been through the trauma of a sexual assault, and then now you have the almost, you know, disorienting and uh, terrifying event of seeing this person back where, where you live. Avocado eventually fired Flukager. KPBS went to his home in El Cajon. Hi there. Hi. We're with KPBS. Are you Matthew Flukager? Hi, no statement. You've been accused of sexual assault. The delay in firing Flukager was one in a series of decisions by Avocado Management that traumatized Gotcha Girolamo and jeopardized her and other residents. Every member of Avocado's staff is required by law to report sexual abuse allegations to the proper authorities within two hours. The state investigation found that the abuse was not reported within the two-hour period, nor did the facility submit an investigation of the complaint to the state within five working days as required. This, despite the fact that Gotcha Girolamo told two staffers immediately after the alleged attack. She also met with Avocado's administrator, Dina Mukini, later that day. Yet Mukini said to investigators that she was only immediately aware of, quote, rough handling, not sexual abuse. But Gotcha Girolamo says she stated clearly to Mukini that she was sexually assaulted. I think the people at Avocado that failed to report this whole thing properly and that they should never be allowed to work in nursing homes again ever that that would be justice Avocado management also waited eight days to report the allegations to the El Cajon police, hampering efforts to gather vital evidence. So far, no charges have been filed. There's more. State investigators also revealed that Flukager had been accused of sexual misconduct at Parkway Hills Nursing and Rehabilitation in La Mesa before Avocado hired him. It was alleged that he propositioned a patient there um, that he would provide them a carton of cigarettes in exchange for oral sex. Records also show that Flukager was hired at San Diego Post Acute, another nursing home in El Cajon, just weeks after Avocado fired him and he allegedly sexually assaulted another woman there. It wasn't until last month, more than a year after his alleged assault on Gotcha Girolamo, that the Department of Public Health finally revoked his license to practice as a certified nursing assistant. Lawyer Mike Dark of California Advocates for Nursing Home Reform says poor pay for caregivers and lax oversight make nursing homes fertile ground for sexual predators. There isn't often much due diligence given to these people when they begin because they need someone who will do very difficult work for almost no money. Gotcha Girolamo says she is now left feeling insignificant. That I was not protected. I was not protected. And when I went for help, I did not get it immediately.
And of course, the person that did this to me is still out there. Amita Sharma, KPBS News.